Okay, so welcome everyone uh, to this uh, webinar session on the governance and migration, governance of migration and diversity track, the GMD. Uh, with here with me today, there is Zainab Kasli. She is the course leader of the this track, and also Gabriela Anderson, who is a current student from South Africa. Uh, I am Darren. Uh, I'm responsible for marketing and recruitment at ISS. Um, so without further ado, I would like to pass on the floor to Zainab uh, so she can begin her presentation about uh, this migration and diversity track. Zainab, please proceed. Great. Thank you, Darren. Welcome, everyone. Um, yes, as Darren introduced briefly, I'm Zainab Kashle. I'm an assistant professor in migration and development at ISS. Uh, I joined ISS in 2020. Um, before that, I was working in the public administration department at Erasmus University. I'm originally from Turkey. Uh, I was born and raised there. I earned my undergraduate degree uh, in political science in Istanbul, Boğaziçi University, and then completed a master in social and public policy at University of Leeds, and then a, another master in Istanbul, Sabancı University in political science, and I earned my PhD. In, at the University of Seattle, uh, University of Washington, Seattle, in Near and Middle Eastern Studies and Law and Society Studies. Um, I welcome you all uh, to this webinar. I will start talking briefly about the program, but first I would like to pass it on to Gabriela to introduce herself also briefly. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Gabriela Anderson. As Darren had said earlier, I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm one of the current MA students doing the governance of migration and diversity. And I'm also specializing in conflict and peace studies, which you will learn about a bit later, the specialization choices you have. And yeah, it's a very exciting program. I'm happy to see that you're, you're all interested in it. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks, Gabriela. Yeah, it's really um, a pleasure to have you here. You indeed experience different um, bits and pieces of both programs. So uh, you can ask any question to Gabriela as well as me after the end of the presentation. Um, so um, governance of migration and diversity track is one of the uh, offered tracks in ISS, um, but it's a joint program. So I will tell more uh, about the details of this program. Uh, but before that, uh, for those of you who don't know yet about ISS, uh, ISS itself is um, ranked according to this year's World uh, University Rankings, first in the Netherlands and in the EU in development studies, and it's 11th in the worldwide. So it's uh, quite an established institution um, with um, different tracks available as, far as, as well as the migration and development track, and you, you will also you can also explore those at the ISS website, of course, and we are all embedded in the ISS and all our students uh, um, get, uh, get to be introduced to different aspects of development in this, uh, as part of this track. And the um, development studies uh, uh, here in the MA program and the GMD uh, means that you are part of the Erasmus University, Erasmus by the Sea, uh, the, Hague, uh, the city of The Hague is by the sea. Uh, and it is the city of justice uh, uh, as well. <laughs> uh, so ISS is part of Erasmus University, but its um, history goes back to 1952. So this is our 70th uh, anniversary, actually. It's quite exciting for us. We have over 15,000 alumni all over the world. So it's a very international student body. Um, you get to know uh, not just uh, development studies, actually you get to explore the world uh, through your peers and through your uh, teachers, just being at ISS, just being in The Hague. Um, and ISS itself, as I said, it is now part of Erasmus University, but it has uh, various other homes and partners as well, uh, especially the GMD Master itself is part of the LDE initiative, that is the partnership between Leiden, Delft and Erasmus Universities. Um, and um, it is also, there is also the CERES network, that is the PhD network for international development studies that is hosted at ISS. Um, that also allows uh, MA students to get to learn about different levels of graduate studies um, and get to uh, listen to uh, join the seminars of the PhD students as well as uh, the MA uh, courses. Uh, and the, the ISS Institute itself is also having partnerships with universities across the world, from Indonesia to South Africa, Austria, and the US. And uh, also beyond these um, uh, established collaborations, uh, 
programs, there are uh, other joint uh, collaborations with uh, universities in other places as well. But the main campus of Erasmus University is in Rotterdam, so the only um, part of Erasmus University uh, that is ISS, that is outside of the main campus, is uh, in The Hague, based in The Hague. Um, so, as I said, GMD itself is a collaborative uh, teaching uh, program. Uh, so we have uh, in this program courses um, being taught uh, in different institutions and different, so this means that there are different tracks. Um, so there is the politics of migration course that's been taught by the public administration department that is in the main campus in Rotterdam. Uh, sociology of migration course been taught by the sociology uh, department that is also in Rotterdam. Uh, there is the migration and development um, uh, part of the program that has been taught at ISS here in The Hague. Uh, history of migration has been taught by history department in Leiden. And uh, also the last but not least, uh, social inequality in the city diversity and design course that's been taught by the Delft University, Technical University in Delft, which is in the city of Delft. And this actually brings together uh, quite unique expertise. Um, the, really the strength uh, of the whole three universities coming together in this master program. Um, because as I just mentioned, development studies, ISS, is, this is really the strongest um, in, in Netherlands and history in Leiden uh, likewise, and public administration and sociology at Erasmus are quite uh, uh, strong and well-established departments, as well as the Delft's technical uh, knowledge that is quite unique to bring together, uh, to combine in such a so social science studies master. If you want to learn more about this collaboration, you can visit the website. Uh, you will also you have links there to the different programs and departments to get to know who are the teachers, and what are the details of these uh, courses are. Um, so just to stress a little bit more that this is a collaboration, but embedded in ISS, what that means uh, in your day-to-day -day, uh, uh, learning experience. Um, this means that uh, when you take these courses that are being taught by Leiden history or sociology and political science, uh, sorry, public administration at uh, Erasmus main campus or Delft, it means you will be traveling. Um, so you take this one course in Leiden, which is 15 kilometers from The Hague, where you are based. Uh, Leiden University has another campus also in The Hague, where there are sometimes events that you can follow, and uh, also if you would like to join some of the seminars. Um, at a, and then at Erasmus main campus, as, as I said, there are two courses that are being taught, um, but for you it will be one out of the two. I will explain that in a bit again. That is 25 kilometers away from uh, The Hague, uh, and Delft is 10 kilometers away. They're all uh, um, reachable by uh, train, and some by bike as well, and maybe Gabriela can tell a little bit about her experience of this traveling, because the, as much as like this is, of course, the strength of the program, because it allows you to get to know different universities, not just ISS, not just Erasmus, but also Delft and Leiden universities. You get, to, you get access to these universities' libraries and all the facilities. You get a chance to visit all these exciting places, you get to meet different students also, not just ISS zone students. And that will allow you to meet maybe much more uh, Dutch students than you would otherwise meet uh, just by studying at ISS. These are the strongholds of this uh, collaboration, of course, but it, it also might be overwhelming from time to time because it involves a lot of traveling. Um, Gabriela, do you want to come in here? Yeah, I definitely think this is one of the strong points of this program. It was one of the reasons I was attracted to it, because if you're not from the Netherlands, um, you get to travel and experience different cities as well at the same time. Uh, it's a really interesting thing, and not many programs offer this. And each university is specialized in its own thing, like Leiden with history and Delft with engineering and architecture. And um, you get different teaching styles, and it really makes you an over uh, a well-rounded, holistic development practitioner. And it's very important. And I think Hague is actually the best base to have. Um, it's because of its location, and also um, you get a development studies, decolonial, diverse perspective. And then these other universities are a bit more traditional, and um, they they ground you a bit in politics and and history. 
but the traveling is the fun part of it. It's a little bit tiring sometimes, but all the other ISS majors get jealous because we're always on the move. And the joke is always about how the migration students are literally practicing migration because we're always moving. Uh, but it's one of the strong points and I wouldn't regret it. Tiring a little bit, uh, costly, but ISS helps you with the costs and how to get uh, discounts and the OV chip cards, which is a personalized card that you can get travel discounts on. Um, but it's definitely one of the strongest points for the program and I really enjoy it. I, I wouldn't regret any part of it. Yeah. That's great. Great to hear indeed. Um, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, so you mm -hmm. just need to know your own uh, interests. Uh, if you are indeed interested to explore beyond the one institution, right? And get a better sense of how uh, different universities indeed, as just Gabriela said, some universities are more uh, traditional uh, in terms of their teaching styles too. So uh, you will be introduced to different uh, forms of learning and uh, uh, also in different institutions. So if you're up for that, uh, I think indeed this is like the best, the, the, this track itself also within the whole GMD program is well placed in terms of exploring these uh, diverse approaches to teaching and learning. Um, great. So just to, to give you a little bit of a sense of these little cities that you will be traveling, I, I personally, I live in Leiden and I love it a lot. It's a very like small town, 150,000 people, Delft likewise, there are similar sized cities. Uh, there's also mainly student cities actually, quite accessible places. Um, and as we just mentioned earlier, you can even bike to Delft or uh, Leiden if you will, if you're good and um, up for biking. And, and then there's Rotterdam, which is a bit of a bigger city, like half a million. Uh, it is, it has a big port. It's quite a super diverse city. It has different histories of diversity that you will be actually introduced if you join the program. The introduction, the opening day takes place in Rotterdam with a really nice tour that has been given by uh, Professor Marlou Schover and uh, Peter Scholten also that introduces you to the history of migration in the city. Um, so you will be traveling to Rotterdam um, as well, and then you will be based in The Hague, uh, which has different things to offer to you, including a nice beach on a summer day, um, which is uh, just around the corner, uh, and uh, you will enjoy uh, also different faces of the city as a city of government and city of justice, with different institutions being based in The Hague. Now, um, one thing maybe just to stress again about the traveling is that uh, indeed um, what other tracks don't offer in the GMD program, but we do uh, at ISS is this travel grant, so uh, travel reimbursement. And we indeed take this seriously that students have to make this effort to visit other places, uh, but also we understand that it is costly, especially for international students. So we offer this reimbursement for the first four months, especially where you are intensely traveling. So most of the joint courses take place in the first term of the program. I will explain that a little bit later too, um, where you will also get reimbursement for the travel uh, costs. So a bit more content now, uh, migration and diversity. What, what do we mean by that in the program? And the emphasis is on movement of people, uh, the causes, the nature and the consequences of them. Uh, and all kinds of moments for all kinds of reasons, right? Uh, it's not necessarily only international uh, mobility, but it entails also internal mobility. Uh, it uh, is forced or voluntary uh, mobility is involved, uh, all sorts of reasons and um, ways uh, being, of being mobile and their impact on uh, different, uh, different levels of, uh, uh, or different, um, realms of uh, social interaction. So we are looking a little bit more critically on what it means uh, that we have a mobile population for both people who are mobile and immobile, who are uh, on the receiving end or who are just having family members who are mobile, but they are themselves stay put. Um, so in the impact of mobility in the everyday life, in the societies and the policy making processes. Uh, and the conflicts and uh, maybe opportunities and challenges that emerge uh, in relation to mobilities. So this is the basic framework in which all the questions being asked uh, 
uh, in throughout the, the program in different courses that you will be uh, taking socio from pol sociological perspective, political perspective, historical perspective, development perspective, and also the impact on the city, the urban context. Um, there will be one core course, for example, in the, the program, the core course on governance of migration and diversity. The aim is to integrate all these different perspectives uh, with a focus on governance. So this is the, the main course that you will be taking with students from all other tracks. All other tracks meaning history in Leiden, uh, PA, public administration and sociology in Rotterdam, and then ISS development track. So there are four tracks, students from four different tracks joining this core course all together. Um, so this means you will also get to learn from students who are coming from different disciplines, as well as from the teachers who are teaching in these disciplines, in these programs. So the cor th this course will introduce you to the governance of migration from these multiple perspectives. And it includes uh, seminars and site visits um, in to different places. Maybe Gabriela can also tell her experience which one was maybe more interesting and eye-opener for her. Uh, and then at the end of the course, you also write a policy brief to which you get uh, feedback. Um, also, that's like the first exercise you do basically within the part of within the framework of the gmd program more of those will come of course when you take courses at iss um, for gmd this is like the main uh, uh, learning experience that happens in the gmd course as well as all the other courses that you will be taking from the program from the joint part of the program yeah gabriela you want to say something you want me to just yeah, no, these are really like the theory meets practice kind of sessions and they're very important, I think, because sometimes you can be overwhelmed a lot with the text and the theory, but also this course really offers practical um, experiences. You get to go visit these sites, you go from different places like a mosque and a church that houses refugees or migrants that come to the Netherlands and you hear directly from them how they're experiencing this migration crisis and how they tackle it and their approach and um, the issues that they have because they're quite open to speaking to students who are studying about it. And I think it's very important because you get hands-on experience and you get to network as well. You get to volunteer with them if you take the initiative and give them your email and uh, they're very important and I really enjoyed them. Yeah, indeed, great. Yeah. Um, and at ISS, we contribute to this course with two sessions, one on introducing the global aspect of migration and then we have a session with the Minister of Foreign Affairs um, we host them here and to get to learn the Dutch um, international policy on migration, their involvement in other uh, host countries, uh, what kind of policies and projects they have. And through that also some students, this mainly speaks to maybe Dutch students, but uh, get to have uh, internship possibilities, for example. But this, this can be your way to also get to know different institutions, different uh, stakeholders, uh, to, to, to expand your um, understanding of the governance of migration, the actors involved in the governance of migration, basically. Um, and now I will introduce the GMD course overview to give a more clear sense of where the development track fits in. So the first uh, uh, yellow column is the joint courses that you'll be taking all together. Um, but the in next year, uh, the GMD students will get a chance to choose between sociology and politics course. This, so this means they will have one course from the Erasmus main university, basically the ESSP, Faculty of uh, Erasmus School of uh, Social and Behavioral Sciences. And then they will get history uh, from Leiden, uh, governance of migration, the joint course, and then the Delft course. So the LDE uh, joint initiative will be uh, very much there present and then also the migration and development course that we offer here at ISS. And next to that development studies course students will take, this is the, uh, the purple uh, at the end, the purple uh, column, uh, will take courses in ISS. Um, and uh, there will be uh, quite some courses in the beginning introducing you to the development studies within, uh, with the foundation course and the making of development uh, course. Uh, and then from um, the term two on, term two in uh, according to ISS calendar starts in January, you will get much more, you will be more based in The Hague, in ISS, 
and you will get uh, elective courses here, both methodological courses, methods courses, and um, uh, specialization courses or other um, thematic courses that you would like to explore further. Uh, this is quite an important component of the course that other tracks also don't offer so much. So um, as you see at the top, uh, in terms of the credits you earn in development studies, you earn 58 credits just at ISS, and in total you earn 88 credits. That is quite unique because ISS offers a one and a half year master program, 15 months program to be more precise, 15 and a half. Uh, and it gives much more time for you to develop your own uh, research paper, which is your MA thesis, and also to, um, to explore different topics uh, before you actually get into uh, your research paper. So you will get uh, both, you will gain more ground in uh, methodological approaches and in the uh, different uh, teams that uh, fall under development studies before you get to work on your own uh, MA thesis. So there will be plenty of time to explore and then to settle in a topic of your interest. And I know from Gabriela's experience, that was indeed quite, quite an exploration. <laughs> She had multiple very interesting topics, and then I and then she landed into one I think the most interesting of all, uh, yeah. with a very nice supervisory committee, right, Gabriela? Yeah, yeah. That's that's another. It's not a problem at ISS, but it's good because you always leave your sessions with so many questions and so many ideas because you you really cover topics from gender to conflict and environmental studies, economics, and. It's really nice and uh, you have so many questions and so many things you want to explore, but it's nice because then the, the thesis process is a bit longer. You start earlier with your preparation and you can kind of narrow down and um, look into your topic and really uh, figure out something that's manageable because it's not a PhD, but it's a bit of a longer period to work on your thesis. And uh, yeah, I eventually got it. <laughs> I think <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> we're still we're still busy. We haven't really started writing yet, but uh, it's an exciting process. And uh, the support that we get from the ISS staff, they're like your family. You can see them everywhere in The Hague and uh, everybody knows you. They say hello to you all the time. And even other students, uh, you really rely on your other students to discuss your, your topics. And it's quite nice because ISS specifically is quite diverse. Everybody comes from all corners of the world. And uh, a lot of them have professional experience, like they work for the UN already, and uh, they're all open to listening to your ideas and discussing. And yeah, yeah. it's very exciting. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, that's very important. And you get to different moments throughout the program to explore different topics, but also share and uh, learn, develop that in conversation with your colleagues and peers. Um, and that's quite unique compared to all other tracks because this is a fast paced program, right? GM, yes. the whole program itself, especially the first part of it, because there are some joint courses that you take here and there. It feels maybe much more um, busy than other uh, tracks at ISS. Although in terms of EC, they are similar, the feeling is different because you explore different institutions, different places, <laughs> you get to know different bodies of students and teachers. But then you come here, you are more based in the, in the Hague in terms of your coursework and your thinking process. And then you also see the benefits of that journey that you took in other places with which you come to write a thesis on development uh, and on migration. So you will feel more grounded uh, in term two and three uh, and more confident in what you would like to do. And I see that in every student that this uh, becomes like a nice journey that they, they take <laughs> by a little bit staying apart and then coming slowly back into ISS. Um, so what is GMD uh, at ISS? Uh, as I, I mean, we mentioned already that the emphasis is on migration and development, the nexus and the, the interlinkages, the complicated relationship between how migration affects development and development affects migration, basically. Um, and we are much more focused on um, how, how and why people move, the diversity of reasons of movement and the livelihoods effects of these mobilities in where they move from, where they move to, and in this uh, whole transnational uh, space that migration itself creates uh, and the whole impact of that in the development of people as well as places. Um, so this means that we take more of a human-centered uh, perspective 
uh, we uh, value more the human security as opposed to state security and try to analyze these in the impacts of mobility uh, at different levels of development uh, from a human security perspective. And uh, also naturally comes the multidimensionality of it, uh, not just looking at the development at the national level, but at the local community level, household level, individual level, all these levels and dimensions, and from an intersectional perspective, not just the, the uh, migrant as a uniform uh, uh, and, and genderless uh, or stateless per persona, right? There are different levels of uh, uh, identities that, has, that are being shaped by different systems of oppression. So there's much attention to all these different forms of this differentiation and stratification that shapes uh, not only the migrants' experiences, but the whole society uh, through migration. Um, and the staff in migration track is also quite diverse. Um, Nanika Winters uh, and me, we are the key teachers of the migration development course. Um, so I'm the convener of the program and I uh, co-delivered that course together with my colleague Nanika. Uh, and then there's Jeff Handmaker, uh, who I, actually I inherited the, the convenership from. Uh, he's a sociolegal scholar, who's also closely related to the program. To the bottom, there is Karin uh, Astrid Sigman, uh, who also was teaching this course before we uh, were handed over the course. Uh, Roy Heisman uh, teaches on uh, generation and youth and uh, migration. And Shiamika Jayasundra Simits is uh, working on human security issues and diasporas. Um, Thea Hillhorst and Rodrigo Mena, they also uh, are, they are all, these faculties are part of the social justice program as well as migration. They are teaching and supervising in this program and they work uh, on uh, dias disasters and conflicts. So, as you see, there is quite a nice collaboration across different uh, majors also at ISS. So our students get to uh, know uh, faculty from other uh, majors and also get a chance to be supervised by them. So, um, of course, we are doing our best to maintain, uh, to, to offer students uh, the best and the most fitting supervision that they are and that fits their interest, their uh, RPs, the research papers interest. So we are their first point of contact, Namika and I, but then there's a bigger community here um, uh, available for supervision. And that also is related to, maybe related to that, I should also mention the fact that there are different topics of interest, especially at the uh, at ISS in terms of migration related research beyond the people that I just introduced there are other scholars and other colleagues who are working on especially on topics related to advocacy and claims making and uh, discursive politics of migration intersectionality and trans transnationality governance in general and displacement uh, in also so these are the key issues uh, and themes that our research as well as our teaching actually um, touches upon. Um, but beyond that, of course, we can offer supervision and support on topics that are closer to your heart that are still related to these topics. You can explore our uh, own research. Also, if you go to the Migration uh, Diversity Research Team uh, that is in the ISS website, uh, there you will see completed projects, seminars that are being organized by, the, by, by us uh, and uh, invited lecturers or speakers. Um, so you, you get to know a little bit more on what we work on uh, when it comes to migration and diversity at ISS. And maybe two sources that need to be mentioned here are these two edited volumes um, from, again, our predecessors, uh, Des uh, Gasper. See, he's retired uh, emeritus professor now. He's still around. Um, and these are free to download if you're interested in human security uh, perspective, especially or social justice. These are for, for your go-to sources to start your uh, uh, bibliographical search from. Um, a little bit about the MA structure at ISS, for those of you who um, don't know it yet. As I said, it is an 88 credit uh, program, so that is really something that is 
uh, unusual uh, when you look at when if you're searching for other MA programs, you will notice that it is like a unique 15 month program, which means that you actually need to get to meet the, the new batch students when you're still here. And if you're uh, a new batch student, you get to know the old batch students. So there is like a, a nice term, the first term of the year where there's the stu two student bodies overlap and uh, there's a nice transmission of knowledge, of course, but of co also to um, uh, enrich your experience of getting to know people, networking with people from all over the world. Uh, especially now that we are again open without, uh, hopefully it will remain like that. People will be here in September. It is quite a lively period uh, to, and very joyful moment for all of us. Um, so this total workforce is spread over then to 15 months, right? Uh, and the LDE part of this is 25 credits and the ISS part, the rest will be ISS. And in the ISS part, 25 credits again goes to research paper. So research paper is taking really quite some way in this whole uh, process and then also time. So uh, as Gabriela may also tell you a bit more from now on, she's actually working mainly on her uh, thesis up until uh, November or so, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit my fault. I kind of completed my credits already in the previous three terms. Uh, it's the way you decide on your electives, whichever ones interest you more. Um, so I have a bit more time. I think I only have about one and a half courses left because we're finishing one up on Friday. Um, but yeah, so now I'm free. I can uh, work on my thesis, which is good because then I can sit down with professors and PhD students as well and discuss my ideas and really um, define and narrow down my topic and get ideas. And it, it's so nice because, yeah, when you're busy doing courses, it's very hard to think about yeah. your thesis. <laughs> Uh, although you, you take notes of ideas and please do something like that keep a journal and uh, take notes of any ideas that you get from your courses that you want to explore for your thesis and any gaps in literature and um, issues you find in the readings because that really helps me um, with my topic mm -hmm. but uh, yes now i'm all thesis which i'm excited <laughs> for because it's this build up it's quite a long build up before you actually start your thesis but you're always talking about it and you do um uh, steps where you have to submit your proposal uh but it's finally here yeah, yeah. it was like this imaginary thing everyone was talking about <laughs> but it's here and we get to work on it yeah in a way you start thinking about it quite early but t settling on a topic takes longer right mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's like and uh, the benefits of this uh, longer uh, period of uh, program uh, there's also this support course on uh, thesis preparation that you get, like really thinking about moving from topic to, to a research question and then uh, specifying it gradually uh, parallel to your coursework. And then there are moments of seminars where you present uh, your design, you get feedback, <laughs> very exciting, <laughs> which is very important for MA students also to practice, right? They also the presentation skills, and, but these are not graded uh, uh, seminars. So the good thing is that indeed, like pedagogically, we take this really seriously, getting feedback, get, learning how to get feedback, how to incorporate the feedback and develop your work gradually. So nobody expects you to be ready your topic ready, your question ready, your everything ready, then you don't need an MA yet, right? This, this is why you're here, to learn together with us. And we also learn from you, together with you. So these seminars are intended as a learning uh, experiences to just help you excel uh, in your uh, learning uh, process and then make the best of your um, research paper. So in the in ISS, you will take these foundation courses, as I said, the research techniques and optional courses, and then the research paper mainly. Um, the core courses meaning, just again to give a little bit content on that, the making of development course, that is the first term course, the foundation course, again, term 1A. So terms are divided here into term one, especially is divided into A, B. B but it's end, it ends uh, in January, basically. It starts in September and uh, end of December. And then contemporary issues in development studies starts in term two and extends to term three. Um, this is like more of a 
contemporary or encounters. This, this, this course is a little bit in the making, so it may also entail something different than it is this year, but it aims to at least keep you on track with the, the development perspective that you gain in the first uh, course, you were introduced in the first course, and try to apply it in different ways. Uh, either by reading uh, or writing on it or just uh, applying or uh, uh, analyzing uh, contemporary issues from the perspectives that you're introduced. The foundation course means that you will, you as a GMD student, will get only one foundation course, whereas ISS other, stud other ISS students will get three foundation courses. And this is because you will be taking courses elsewhere. Uh, you'll be taking a um, history course, as, I said, as we said earlier, in Leiden University, and then you'll be taking either politics or sociology course in the main campus, Erasmus main campus, at the same time as you take these courses. So that's why you get only one foundation course instead of three, but you will be able to choose which one you would like to, uh, meaning you will choose either an economics, sociology, or a politics of development course that fits your level, and that will help you also ground a little bit in one of the disciplines that you would like to work on or um, learn a bit more on if you come already with some uh, knowledge on development. This will help you be then grounded in ISS as well as in the GMD track uh, already in term one. And then uh, in later on uh, in term two, you will move on to uh, more, in, as we said, in ISS courses and research techniques courses. Research techniques courses are also quite, and there's an uh, abundance of choice, I would say, and sometimes students find it even hard to choose uh, which one. Um, Gabriela is an example of that again. <laughs> so there is one general course that we suggest students to take. That is an eight credit course that I actually teach together with uh, Nanaka Winters. That is a course for students who come with no prior experience in research uh, or any uh, training in research methods. Uh, or if you come with a bit of experience and knowledge, uh, then you can, you are uh, uh, more advised to take one of the two of the specialized courses for EC courses, and aims to provide you with knowledge and skills to perform an independent research. So that really helps you prepare for the next step. And um, as just mentioned, you will already start thinking about this and thinking of how to write a thesis and what methods actually you would need for the topic that you want to explore already in term B with this course 3105. Gradually, uh, you will be getting into that mindset. Uh, anything you want to add, Gabriela? Yeah, it's very difficult to choose. That's the problem with ISS. <laughs> they, they offer so many good courses, <laughs> but it's not nice actually a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a big problem. <laughs> and they're, uh, yeah, they, their titles are great and their content is good. But sometimes what it's what it's nice if your friends take a different course, uh, you can always share the material, uh, which is really nice. Or you can uh, speak to professors and yeah. literally they're very open to sitting down with you and discussing things. Yeah. So it's not like you'll miss out completely, but yeah, making the decision is very hard. <laughs> they're all they're all very good, and uh, you want to learn everything once you're here. Um, yeah. But yeah, the research techniques are very important for your thesis, and uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. Uh, you, this is indeed a luxury position to be in to not know what what to choose among all the offers, but. Yeah. Uh, Exactly as Gabriela said, you can always uh, reach out to the professors and uh, you can keep at least for yourself um, a knowledge of uh, these topics that are out there uh, and methods that are out there that you may want to explore later, uh, maybe not for your RP, for your research paper, but in another occasion. And this won't be hopefully your first and last time doing research, right? This is just yeah. to get you excited <laughs> to do more research in the coming years. <laughs> Uh, so some of the optional courses, so as we said that you will take 16 uh, EC uh, optional courses, meaning eight, two times eight EC courses. And there are quite a diversity of courses again on offer. Um, and, and social justice issues, there are a couple of very interesting courses that our students uh, are already in this batch and also previous batches were quite interested in taking. Uh, or policy analysis and human behavior experiments in development, like really different um, different uh, um, uh, approaches, uh, basically. From these are the courses that are offered in 
different majors in ISS. So SJP, SDP, GDP, you can also explore, uh, see for yourself these other majors, what are on offer there. Uh, but this means that as ISS GMD students, you will get a chance to also get courses from these other majors. And through that, you can also earn another specialization if you are interested. Um, this means that you take 16 EC uh, coursework in one of these other uh, majors courses. So you complete two courses that are offered by these majors. And then your research paper then uh, is written on a topic that speaks to both uh, migration and uh, this uh, specialization that you are uh, going to complete. Um, maybe Gabriela, you can also tell your experience on that. Yes, again, choosing your electives and choosing the specialization is difficult because there are so many good choices. Um, but it really, again, it comes down to what you're interested in before you come and then uh, what you discover along the way. And I think the other courses with the different universities help narrow that down as well. And the specialization is really good as well for, I think, later for research as well and uh, the working field that you want to go into. And um, yeah, it looks really nice on your degree certificate. I think it would be very good. I'm specializing in conflict and peace. And I think two of my other migration uh, colleagues are also doing conflict and peace. And then someone's doing public policy or policy. Um, yeah, it's just really good. Uh, the, the elective courses that you, you get to look into really expand on knowledge in some of these fields because I didn't really go into conflict in my undergraduate studies. Mm -hmm. And you get exposed to other ISS um, professors and it's not like it's completely unrelated to migration because the overarching thing is development studies and everything is interrelated and um, you'll discuss migration eventually at some point and they always ask you to bring your um, your different track perspective in so you'll have someone from social justice or from the economic side and you guys will debate and discuss your different perspectives and it really makes you learn a bit more on how these different players and actors who eventually go into the working field, how they work together and how they understand each other. Uh, but I would say do a specialization. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed conflict and peace studies this uh, well last term. And um, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is uh, good to know that these options are available. Of course, you're not forced to you don't have to specialize yeah. because your master is already a specialization. It comes with the specialization in migration and diversity governance. So this is really an, an extra uh, mild if you would like to take this uh, uh, challenge as well, because then it means that you will be taking coursework only on these uh, specialized fields, either local development strategies, public policy, or like Gabriela is doing um, the conflict and peace studies. So these are really um, uh, nice topics to further develop your specialization in and especially if you come with such interest that uh, that is really good to know that it is available but this is not something you have to do so <laughs> don't be overwhelmed with all the options available it's just out there for students who are interested and as you see from the positive experience of Gabriela it really adds uh, something to your learning experience yeah, I should actually tell you because one of the readings we did for conflict analysis is the basis of my thesis. It yeah. literally spoke to what I wanted to explore. I found it the yeah. other day. It was our final assignment reading. And yeah, it, it, it started the, the, the thing with the art. And yeah, um, definitely. it's also nice because the other GMD majors don't have this option to do electives. So they always were kind of a bit jealous of us because they sound so cool that they don't really have the choice. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. And with that course, you also uh, are now working with Shiamika. Uh, she is also supervising uh, your uh, uh, MA thesis. So yes. indeed, you get to learn, work with different faculty also and further specialize by working with them uh, in these fields. Great. Um, so we're coming slowly to the end of it. Uh, just to mention that this is like there are opportunities for you to participate in the learning process. So um, we already mentioned a couple of them, but this is, a, this is a place where we learn with students, together with students, and uh, your contribution is very much valued as an MA student um, into developing the program, and uh, also exploring certain topics together with you uh, during your RP process and all. 
Um, so you are really at the center of this MA program and um, we hope that you feel that way also when you're here. Uh, and there are a couple of um, um, committees that are in place through which you can um, get, get engaged in, the, in helping us also develop the MA program further. One is the teaching and learning committee where there are student members always sitting in the, the committee. And that is an advisory committee to the deputy director of educational affairs uh, on anything related to teaching. Um, and they, that's also the committee that approves and advise on part of the academic rules and regulations. Um, and uh, SCOLAS, um, which will be in, introduced in a bit, is um, plays a key role in this committee, basically. And then students can also take an uh, active role in the Institute's Council. And there are different um, task forces in the Council also on which you can contribute to in, in your um, extra time. And the class representatives, so every major uh, and track has a class representative uh, that helps uh, organizing elections for the MA class, that is the SCOLAS, uh, uh, the student committee. Um, so SCOLAS is a unique body also because indeed the old batch hands over things to the new batch in this term one uh, where um, the new batch chooses their representatives and then this is there's kind of a continuity in that body I guess right Gabriela you can also tell about that a little bit and the role of this um, class representative is also to share feedback from the rest of the group to the convener to the teaching staff and help organizing social activities and study visits so these are the pictures of this year's and uh, last year's study visits that we did uh, within uh, COVID rules <laughs> as much as we could. We did last year a uh, Black Heritage Tour in Amsterdam, for example, together with the new batch and old batch students, we visited a, a workshop and factory by a Mexican uh, Dutch uh, entrepreneur. And also we did some other extracurricular activities, having dinner from time to time, just chatting and relaxing a little bit. And now next month, uh, we are visiting Istanbul together with a couple of students uh, doing a study visit to Istanbul, um, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I hope it will, it will be a tradition also of the GMD <laughs> study visits. Yeah, so scholars, um, they kind of bridged the divide between uh, the staff and management with ISS and it's made up of the student body. And it's really nice because there is this overlap where the old batch is still here and they're finishing off their thesis. So you're not left by yourself. You can learn from their experiences and uh, they hand over the, the duty to the students through an election, of course, the student body votes for them and you campaign. If you don't run unattended, you win by default. Um, but it's really nice because scholars get to organize these amazing events and they get to settle disputes. So if you're unhappy with something at ISS or you want something to change, um, you go through this procedure through scholars and, and they, they help you with that. So it's not like um, there's this very heavy power structure. It's something we really want to break away at ISS, which is very different from other universities. And scholars helps with that. But I don't know if you've uh, talked about the LBE student board as well, Zainab, because that's oh, an additional yeah. that we have. Oh, I'm sorry, indeed, I missed that out. <laughs> yes, please, yes. you have to present that, Gabriela. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have our own type of scholars because we are quite unique. Uh, we have something called the LDE GMD student board. It's basically exactly what scholars does, but we bridge the divide with the different universities and um, we uh, are a student body made up of representatives from each track. So the history, the public administration, sociology, ISS, and um, there's different roles. I'm the chairperson and we have a secretary and we have communications and events. And we basically do exactly what Scholars does, but for the migration students, we run events. Like we recently had a potluck and we did a paint night. And we also sit on um, different committees with the greater GMD staff, uh, like um, the academic executive board. And we're also a link to the migration center that is kind of where the master program falls under. And they have something called the thesis hub and they run programs and initiatives uh, all over the Netherlands, uh, specifically right now they're doing something in the Hague Southwest as well. And it's a greater networking thing because um, they also offer a, a thesis award as well at the end. So if you get the best thesis, you get to stay on for something like three months and develop your work as well, which is very exciting. But 
yeah, you'll learn all about this uh, in the introduction and on the website. There's also a website for the LDE GMD mm -hmm. Migration Center that you can check out. Uh, but being a student board there is very nice as well because you again travel as a student board because you never stay in one place and the um, staff are all from the different universities. Yeah, great. Thank you for the reminder. Indeed, the the mm -hmm. student students are quite active in the LDE GMD Center too, which is an emerging center. It is founded last year and now it's the second year, but already students are taking so much role in there. Now we are organizing in the conference, for example, a panel together with Gabriela and other students. So is there like in places where you get to to learn more about migration research through these collaborations as well as um, development at ISS indeed. And uh, maybe wanting to mention that one of the awardees of the thesis award like two years ago was ISS students. So ISS research is always highly valued in the <laughs> LDGMD initiative itself. Yes. Um, so this, before we close, um, we got a, indeed Gabriela already mentioned uh, some of these that um, this is like here you we aim to at least provide you a safe and healthy environment uh, assistance to uh, assistance of all ISS uh, services are available to you and as well as the best education so it's uh, you uh, you as the student are at the center of this master program uh, you have lots of rights and also different uh, bodies that are available already at ISS and uh, you, there is also space to to come up with new and uh, new bodies and new rules and regulations and push for uh, change uh, at the ISS level uh, and comes with that of course some responsibilities to do your best to com contribute to the quality of the ISS uh, community uh, here and the things that we can't stress enough is that ISS really offers an exceptional mix of people uh, with really impressive backgrounds, talents and ambitions from all over the world. That is you. You bring that to ISS and we all cherish and appreciate that. Um, and that sometimes comes with, of course, its own challenges because you have to discover uh, the commonalities as well as the differences that, that, um, that are uh, uh, that, that introduces you to a whole new world, uh, maybe sometimes makes it hard to learn together, but also that is the beauty of it, to how to learn together, right? Um, that diversity of ideas and practices is at the heart of the ISS uh, program, and not just academically, socially, culturally, uh, in all aspects of life here. And we really well, look forward to welcoming many of you next year here at ISS and also have you in the GMD uh, track of ISS. With that, I think I can end. Uh, if there are questions, um, you can always write to me also. Um, uh, I'm available to uh, respond to any inquiries uh, that Darren also can also forward to me if there is anything that I can uh, further uh, discuss with uh, incoming students. Um, and if there are any questions now, feel free, please. Yes, thank you so much, Zenab and Gabriela. I really don't think there will be any question because the both <laughs> of you have, in in the space of fifty five minutes, you have given such an in depth, I think, very in depth uh, information about the GMD program. I, it's amazing, I think, which is really, really good. I, I don't see any question in the chat function, but uh, maybe just one question before we either end the webinar or we wait for one or two questions from the viewers. I, I will start, uh, I'll get the ball rolling with one question. Uh, maybe this for Gabriela, maybe, and a little bit, Zena, if you can also come in. Uh, it's about the teaching method. Uh, because you are traveling a lot, so the teaching method is a little bit different uh, in Leiden, in Delft, in, uh, in Rotterdam, and also at ISS. Uh, we, we can touch a little bit on that, and also about um, the exams, assignments, how is it like, because it may differ per semester. Uh, so maybe you can touch a little bit on those two. Uh, Gabriela or Zena, you can either one of you can go first. Yeah, Gabriela, do you want? 
Yeah. yeah, I can go. Yeah, yeah. the teaching methods really differ. Um, most of them are your traditional lectures where you sit and you, you learn from your professors, but they're also working groups where they say, okay, we've given you a bit of information, now go work together and learn from each other. You get readings to do beforehand and sometimes pre-recorded videos. Uh, you must come prepared to your lectures so that you can uh, contribute in-depthly as well. Um, but the assessment methods are something that I like. I know it's quite scary <laughs> and something odd to say. So the assessment methods, you get your traditional essays that you write, but you can do it your own way as well. Uh, but you do things like a policy brief, which was also quite interesting with the governance of migration course. Um, in, in one of our theory meets practice sessions, we met with the European Commission and uh, we learned from them. And then we wanted to do our policy brief for them. And we decided we had their contact details. So we decided, let's try, see if our group can reach out. And we did. And the representative from the European Commission decided to hear us out. And we try to work on an actual policy brief that they could implement for an issue that they're experiencing now. And then you do other things like film festivals for the politics of migration. You did, we did a film festival. A lot has happened. I'm actually thinking now. It's <laughs> like, it feels like so long ago. <laughs> and um, for one of the migration courses, we did a podcast. So it's not like you're doing, I would say, boring old traditional essays, but uh, you do different types of methods for your assessments and exams. ISS doesn't really believe in exams. They come here and there, but um, they will help you. And uh, they're actually quite enjoyable. And you learn a lot because the feedback you get from these assessments, uh, it's something that I didn't really get in my previous um, undergraduate degree. And uh, it's it's a learning curve. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah. And maybe just to add to, to different exams and terms, I uh, in in the GMD overview that I presented, which will be available in the uh, PowerPoint later for you to explore if you want to further, but you will see that the terms don't overlap necessarily between ISS and the other places. Mm -hmm. And that means that sometimes there are really busy periods uh, where you have to complete assignments both in ISS and other places. Um, we are doing our best to support our students in that process is by offering extensions also. So it's not just you feel all the time that you need to um, be on your toes and be rest assured that there is support available for these periods, especially that are quite, um, quite heavy and maybe busy. Uh, but the diversity of the assignments maybe make it a bit lighter for uh, at yeah. least some of the students, right? That you don't indeed find yourself all the time studying for exams and just doing that. So it's indeed exciting to complete all these different forms of assignments, at least. Uh, even though it is busy, it feels like you're doing a lot of nice things at the same time while learning. Thank you, Gabriela and Zenab. Another very detailed uh... <laughs> answer which is really really good because it really gives a perspective and you know uh, the students know what they are going to come in for in september which is really great um it's exactly 12 now uh, dutch time so i think uh, as i mentioned earlier the, the detail of the the session is really really good i don't see any questions that means i think the viewers have enough sufficient information to make a good decision to come to iss for the gmd track so I think, uh, thank you so much Zainab and Gabriela for taking your time off from a busy schedule uh, to participate in this webinar session. Um, for the viewers, if you have any questions uh, after this, after going through the recording of the webinar, which you will get later, uh, you can first uh, send me an email. I have just put it in the chat function. So study at iss.nl that comes to me. Uh, if I can't answer them, I can either pass it to Zainab or Gabriela. Uh, but please bear in mind that uh, Gabriela and Zenab may be busy and may take some time to come back to you, but they will eventually. So keep that in mind as well. So um, with that, thank you very much, Zenab and Gabriela again. Um, thank you, Darren. Thank yeah, you uh, so, for joining. Yeah, have, have a lovely uh, uh, day. And to the viewers as well, have a lovely day. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in September. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.